Hello everyone, Carman back with another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you my Mercedes S-Class W220, this is the S600 and how to change the trunk shocks. My particular car is equipped with the power trunk but this video applies to even the normal S-Classes without the power trunk. The problem I am having is the trunk falls down right when I let it go so this problem is within the shocks themselves. So without wasting any time I'm going to show you how to get this done so let's get started. The new shocks are fairly inexpensive and they're very easy to install. They take a few minutes. All you have to do is pop out a clip. Here's the clip we're going to take off. I'm going to show you on the other side how to do it. You're going to get a flathead screwdriver and there's a groove right in between. I'm going to insert the screwdriver inside and try pulling the clip right out. Once this clip is out, the trunk shock is going to pull right out. On top is also another metal clip, but this one stays stuck to the trunk shock. All you have to do is lift it up a bit and then the trunk shock will come right out. Now it's time to install the new shocks. I'm going to start with the top. The shock's going to slide right in and lock in place. And to install the bottom one, you might have to lower the trunk a little bit to align it correctly, but once it's aligned, it's going to snap right in place. Now that that's done, I'm going to do the same on the other side and I'll share with you my final results. Both trunk shocks have been changed and now if I press the button, the trunk operates just like new. And if I open it, it pops right up and stays in place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if this video has helped you out, please give it a big like and share. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Thank you.